guys welcome back to the channel my name is tommy and of course this is the gallery backyard barbecue and griddle and on today's show it is all about simplified it is all about delicious simple recipes i am talking the bacon burger bomb so look what i want to do here is drop the cameras down let's look at our simple ingredient list and then let's get on over to the griddle and get some bacon on Always remember complete ingredient list down in the description. We got about a pack of bacon there. We are looking at about a one by one loose chop. And you can see we are about 363 griddle surface. And anytime you introduce any type of food to the uh, griddle, you want to spread it out. You want good contact with as much pieces of the uh, protein as you can get. And everybody loves that sound of bacon. We will get that moved over. We're about 85, 90% cooked there. We want that good bacon grease. We will get about a one onion down. That is a loose chop on that onion. And eventually we will join the both of them together. <laughs> We've got a little bit of butter mixed in with those onions along with that bacon grease and you know we are looking good on flavors with that. I've got an off zone over there to the right. We will get all that goodness pushed on over to the right so it can just kind of do its thing over there and we will go on to the next step. So guys, a little bit of an update here. I've got my bacon and onion pushed over to the side. Meanwhile, I've got my 80-20 on here. I am looking to get a good sear on the bottom of that. I am cooking with eight zones on low right here in the middle. And once, I, uh, once the meat gets finished, we will join it all together. Then I will bring you on over to the board. We gotta get our puff pastry ready. I am telling you, this is a killer recipe. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. You're gonna want a good sear on that meat. I probably left it down for about two minutes or so and we are moving right along at that 400 range griddle surface. Guys, once flipped, there is no reason to wait. You can start to chop it up. And you're definitely going to want a pretty good chop on that. And you will cook it all the way once it is finished. You will join that, uh, the uh, bacon, the onions, and that ground beef. You will join it all together. Yeah. I mean, so far, I got to say, this is a pretty easy recipe to do. Easy ingredients to work on the griddle. Once that burger meat comes up to that safe zone temperature, like I said, we will join all that goodness together. We will hit it with a little flat top king, shake that. If you've not tried this stuff, man, you are definitely missing out. And of course, I got information on everything in this video is down in the description. That is included in this seasoning, the shake that, yeah. So guys, once that is cooked, you will get it off, get it on a, uh, get it in a bowl, put it on the side, and now let's move on to the next step. Alrighty, look, here is our mixture all done. We will get that here on the side. I am gonna clean up my griddle and then I'll bring you guys back. I'll have my board all set up and I will take you to the last step. So for this step, I am figuring one sheet of puff pastry, thawed out puff pastry, will make about four bacon burger bombs. Oh yeah. So basically what you wanna do is you're gonna roll that out, get plenty of flour down, and you are gonna cut that out into fours. Yeah. 
This puff pastry makes it all easy. At that point, look, I did them both ways. I did burger meat down first, and I also did cheese down first, thinking that maybe with the cheese on the bottom flap, it is gonna melt out. It did not do it. So either way you wanna do it, bacon, uh, bacon, onions, beef down first, or cheese down first, it makes no difference. Once you get everything piled in, you are going to close it up like that. I've also tried a little butter on the ends to hold it. Again, makes no difference either way. Just close it up, flip it over, and you are good to go. Yeah. So look, once flipped over, we got that on a wire rack. If you don't have a wire rack like this, information down below, you are gonna get some melted butter on and a little uh, everything bagel mix on, yeah. Now look, if you didn't want to use this everything bagel mix, you can uh, improvise and put on there what you want. All righty guys, so look, that is all there is to the prep of this. And I got to tell you, when you know, you know, and I know this is going to be a killer recipe, there's for sure. I am going to run my halo griddle with four zones lit up. That is going to be the uh, two zones on the end. And I will put the uh, burger bombs right in the middle. We want to create that heat around it, not so much underneath it. I've had my halo griddle all cleaned up, all ready to go. Let's get back on over there. Let's take the temp and let's get these burger bombs on. So look, this is the last leg of the cook. And as you can see, we are about 245 and that'll get us started off. We are gonna raise, there is no doubt about it. And as you can see, we have uh, four zones lit. We are surrounding the uh, the bacon burger bombs and you could see we are about 10 minutes in and we are browning a little bit on the left side so I am gonna give it a little bit of a flip. Now you definitely wanna shut that hood for this and you can see we have risen up into the 400s. That is perfect, 500s on the end. And we are surrounding with some heat. Guys, this portion of the uh, cook here probably took about 20 minutes or so, and I could have even left it in for another couple minutes. Oh man, bacon burger bombs, are you kidding me? I mean, these things were packed with flavor. So look, we will let these cool down probably for about three, four minutes. Let's give a little slice open and check it out. Guys, that is flavor, that is packed, that is good. Again, I could have went about another couple minutes on the uh, puff pastry, but it was all good. <laughs> good. You can't make it up. So what I wanna do here is let's take this in live, let's do that taste test and close out the show. All righty, look, so not that it made a difference in the cooking, there's nothing really leaked through. I definitely prefer the cheese on the top. It just looks better up there on the top and piling it in as much as you want. And also pick your favorite cheese. I went with that extra sharp cheddar. I've got it cut open, let's get that taste test. And I gotta say, man, there is nothing wrong with this. So guys, look, these are as good tasting as they look. You've got the bacon in there, you've got the onions in there. It's all wrapped together with that puff pastry with that cheddar cheese. Kind of reminds me of a, uh, let's say a poor man's beef wellington. And I could tell you, man, with that shake that seasoning from the flat top king, this sucker hits on all cylinders. So that is gonna wrap up this one. Definitely a fun make, especially if you have kids and you can stuff them with anything you like. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. Here is my Patreons and YouTube joined members. I appreciate those guys. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, we will see you soon.